Futures and Techies out there. Today I want to talk about one of the new features in Google Meets, and that is how it integrates now with Google Jamboard. So I'm going to share my screen in a second, and I'll take you through the steps of how Google Jamboard is now integrated with Google Meets. So as you see here, I am in a Google Meet, and down in the bottom right corner of my Google Meet, where you have your three dots there in your settings, uh, we recently saw that you can now change the layout to be more of a tiled or grid view. But now you're going to see an option up top here to open a jam. So when you open up a jam, you're going to have two options for the students. One is to start a new whiteboard, or one is to choose from your drive. So if you already had something existing that you wanted to integrate into the Google Meet. So I'll just click here that says start a new whiteboard. And so what will happen is you'll get a little pop-up here and it's asking how you want to share it. So you can share it as a view for the students or if you want them to edit and be able to collaborate, it's really up to you and the activity that you're doing. And once you click send, what will happen is in the chat, they will get a notification that there's a, uh, a link for a new jam that pops up in their chat window. So they'll have to click on that and join the jam. Uh, something to keep in mind, because it's using the chat feature to send the link to the students, if a student uh, were to join the Meet after I shared a jam, I would have to reshare that link because uh, the chat is not visible to them. Well, anything that's previously posted in the chat is not visible to the students before they join. So just try to keep that in mind. So you will notice that I do get a jam that pops up. It does give it a little bit of a funny link and integrates the link of the meet uh, that's in here with it. Now, the uh, benefit of doing it this way is now you don't have to uh, go down to the bottom right and present your screen. So as long as the students click the link to join this jam, they will have this on their screen. So then anything I were to do on the jam would show up on their screen. So you don't have to actually present your screen to do that. So you would just work on your jam, however you were doing it in your class, whether it's collaborative or you're demonstrating something for your students. You can go in and rename this if you like, and then this would just save just like any other jam that you may have created before. So that is just a quick overview of how Google Jamboard can now integrate with Google Meet.